Hey everyone, welcome to RPG 4 minute videos for developers, season 24, episode 7. In this video, we're going to learn about basics of OAuth 2.0 resource owner password credentials grant type. Myself, Anil Sagar, I work at Google and RPG platform. Prerequisites of this video basics of OAuth 2.0 grant types. For that, you can refer earlier 4 minute video. Let's understand how resource owner password credentials grant type works and how a client can able to access the API resources with the consent from the end user. Let's say you have a backend server where the user data is stored. Let's call that backend server as a resource server. And you have different set of APIs that are exposed out of this backend server. Let's say this backend server is in big bank and bank has various operations like fund transfers, account statements, and the account information. Let's say there is a client which is a mobile application trying to access this information like the account statements. The end user who actually owns the data like bank customer who is having a bank account with this particular bank and doing all the transactions. So when the client like in a mobile application trying to access a particular API then it needs the end user consent before it can able to access this API. Apigee can sit in between the client and the backend resource server and act like an OAuth authorization server. In the first step, client registers itself with Apigee Edge Developer Portal and trying to access a particular API, let's say API resource. Apigee Edge generates a key and secret and gives back to the client. Once the client receives the key and secret, in the second step, the end user authenticates using the mobile app where he provides the username and password. This information is sent to Apigee proxy. Let's call it as an OAuth proxy slash token generation endpoint. Apigee receives these credentials and forwards to the resource server authentication endpoint and asks for whether these credentials are valid or not. And the resource server authentication server comes back to Apigee saying that it's a valid or invalid. If it is valid, then we're going to generate a token based on the scopes submitted by the client. The scopes are nothing but different operations that client is trying to access that is related to particular API endpoint. For example, scope can be read, write, delete, or it can be something like getting access to part of the API resource. Scopes in general are strings in OAuth 2.0 that you can configure and generate with the token and verify when the token is presented. So the token is sent back to the client. The client now has a token. Client uses the token to make an API call to a particular API like get me account statements. Apigee verifies the token as well as scopes that are associated with the token and allows access to the backend API. And the backend returns the response which is sent back to the client. That's a simple resource owner password credentials grant type. In general, it is used in a trusted app clients where the end user consent is required and authenticated by directly providing the username and password. Hope you have enjoyed this video. If you are evaluating Apigee Edge, you can reach out to us using this link. If you have any questions, you can reach out to community.apigee.com. Please share this video with your friends and colleagues and spread the love for APIs. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to YouTube channel and stay updated with any future videos.